In this session, we are going to build a computer vision based model to identify the breed of a dog by just using an image of a dog. To develop this model, we are going to use Google Cloud AutoML services, which is basically a collection of machine learning products that enable developers with limited machine learning expertise to train high quality models specific to their business needs. But I can assure you that even non developers can use Google AutoML to build high quality AI models. For simplicity purpose, we shall be developing a model to help us identify only two breeds of dog that is a German Shepherd and a Dalmatian. And here is the workflow of a cloud AutoML vision, right? Uh, where first we need to upload the images, then label the images. Thereafter, train the model and then third is to evaluate the model to understand whether the model is performing as per our expectation. So to start with, we will be required to collect hundreds of images of Dalmatian and German Shepherd. For this, we shall be using a data scraping tool available on Chrome extension. So here we are on the Chrome web store where we want to add a data scraping extension. So one of my favorite ones is VXCR, all right? Um, and it helps you to scrape all the images that are available on the web page, all right? So we have added it. Now you'll just pin it so that we can see it here, all right? Um, now let's go to Google Images and fetch images of these dogs. Okay. All right. So when I type German Shepherd, let me type German Shepherd images. All right. And what we do is we go and say dig images. So now we have all the images that were there on the page it's just that to improve the quality we will increase the width and the height so that we get better images of german shepherd and we will select all of them and just remove the ones which are kind of irrelevant or which will not give a good uh, you know uh, the the machine which will not give machine a good understanding of what's a german shepherd like right so now what we do is we download this data, all right? So all the images get downloaded. And if you see show in finder, so we have all the images have been downloaded and it is in 202085. What we will do is that we will just change the name of this folder, okay? So we will just say German Shepherd. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we are going to close this and now to dig images of Dalmatian dogs. Okay. So now we have images of Dalmatian dogs and what we are going to now do is again dig into them yeah and we just increase the width so that we will get the relevant now we will select all of them and remove the ones which do not make a lot of sense or which may confuse our training data set right so like cartoon images like these um okay let's like this but this one is irrelevant right so we will just go and remove the irrelevant ones and we will again download the relevant ones, right? So what happens here is, let them get downloaded, right? So what happens here is that if you go and show in Finder, again, let's just rename this to Dalmatians. Okay, so basically we have named uh, this folder as Dalmatians, which has all the images of Dalmatian. 
similarly we have named uh, german shepherd and then we have all the images of german shepherd so now when we upload this to uh, you know google cloud auto ml what happens is this automatically gets labeled okay so let's now get let's now log into the google cloud platform where we are going to consume the services of auto ml yeah so i already have an account initially you will need to create an account on uh, google cloud platform to use the to get into the console so i already had an account so i'm just directly getting into signing into the console of google cloud platform so what i need to now do is just write vision here so these are the two services we are going to use the auto ml vision right so we say get started and now we have a new data set that we're creating so we will say okay new data set and we are going to give a new name to the data set that is dog one all right and then the kind of problem on the basis of the kind of problem we will select the model objective so out here the model objective single label classification in case we are looking for multi label or object detection then we can use the respective model right now we are using single label classification so we say create data set just take this off all right uh, so now it gives you an option to import the data and to create the data set so it says upload images from the computer or select a csv file on uh, cloud storage so since we already have uh, the data present in our computer we will use the uh, the same data uh, what we missed doing was we did not convert our exa into and we'll just compress it we convert that into a zip so that we can just simply upload the zip there yeah okay so we say select files and we just upload this file here yeah all right and since uh, we are developing this and we are creating the data set on the cloud what we need to do is to create a bucket all right so we just create a dog ECP test. I have already created this before, but I'll going to create a new one now and say continue. Okay, so we can't use okay. Okay, so we say ECP. Right. So we say continue. Uh, let's do this as multi-level. Uh, let's keep whatever it is suggesting and say create. Okay, let's not. All right, and we say select. So basically, what it has done is it has created a new bucket which is called dog GCCP, and we say continue. Now, uh, this would take some time to create the data set. So, this is how your data set once get uploaded will look like, right? And we had 150 images out of which there were 90 images of Dalmatians and 60 images of German Shepherd. All these images have automatically been labeled on the basis of the name of the folder which we had renamed in our folder structure. Right now, if you can see that there are some images which are not really good images for Dalmatians, right? So, this image, uh, this image, Dalmatians, uh, maybe we can pick out some more ones. And what we need to do is like this image this image would not help the machine to understand that these are dalmatians right so what we what we can do is that we can assign labels and we can unlabel them because we don't want them to be a part of our training data set all right so we have unlabeled them and now if you will see the dalmatians uh, will come out to be only 
85 all right so the next step is to train the model so we have imported the data we have labeled the images and the next step is to train the model right so we go to, on to the training tab and we see that what what uh, what we see here is that automatically out of those 85 images uh, the system has figured out that it will train 69 images use eight images for validation and eight images for testing similarly for german shepherd out of for, out of 60 images the system has automatically identified that what should be my training data set validation data set and test data set all right we just need to click on start training and we just need to set some parameters here which are automatically suggested by gcp so what we just need to do is click on start training again once setting up the parameter so training the model would take some time and we usually get emailed once the training gets completed so now let's wait for the training to complete so when your model gets trained right uh, you will get an email and when you click on the email uh, you will see that your model has been trained and our precision has been won which is amazing right so what we'll do is we will go and see the full evaluation right and out here we can check out the confusion matrix and other evaluation parameters on which the model can be judged whether it's a good model or it's a bad model right so once we train it we evaluate it and then eventually the most exciting part is the ability to use it right so the model is ready we can use rest apis and also use python code uh, to integrate into our uh, you know into our application but out here what we are now going to do is we are going to upload images right of the uh, of the dalmatians or of that of uh, german shepherd right so let me pick out some images and see that how well or how good is the system right let me pick out some images here and check for this all right so we have and now it is generating the predictions it says this is german german shepherd german shepherd and this also as german shepherd so we have taken the data from our training data set now let's pick up a german shepherd image which from google images and an image which has not been taken from google let's take it from pinterest okay let's try to save this image and say german one all right and we upload this image right so before we have used images which already were a part of the training data set let me pick up gm1 and let's see how it performs here great this is a german shepherd let's now from pinterest take a dalmatian dog Okay, let's take this image and feed it to our Okay, let's take us as a DL1 and see whether how our model is performing. All right. bingo so we have another dalmatian right so this is amazing right so now we have been able to create a model which can be deployed using rest apis and which can also be deployed as an integration into your own python code or into your software using a python code right uh, but the more important part is now we have developed a model which is producing great predictions and this gives us a good feeling that without even writing a single line of code, I have been able to 
produce a AI model which is working pretty well. I hope this gives you a lot more confidence in terms of developing a AI model. Thank you.